Man, oh man, oh man, guys. These boxes have been something special. I am Wake Run Collapse, and I am coming at you right now with another Wild Blaze booster box. The fourth of five installments in this week's Midnight Fire series. Kind of cool to be uploading boxes at midnight. Kind of cool to be filming them at 11 p.m. as well. Trying to get a little bit ahead of the game with my upload schedule if you are stoked for what could possibly remain in any of these boxes. Which I'm sure no one would be surprised if there's nothing. But everyone is secretly hoping for an ultra rare Charizard of some some crazy variety. Make sure you hit the like button down below. I also want to take a moment to thank everybody, each and every one of you, for coming out with all your support the past few days. I know this upload schedule has been a little bit crazy. Ah, it's a car bank. I did not get you last box. And maybe not even the box before it. I don't quite remember. I know the upload schedule has been a little crazy. But by doing these uh, these midnight series, uh, especially where my days have been very, very busy with work, with other obligations, uh, trying to see friends, trying to play a little Pokemon Go on the side, it's important that I film and get things done. And that's why we're not doing two uploads a day, because I would go absolutely bonkers crazy with an overwork from something like that. Pokemon Center Lady finishing that pack. So I hope you're enjoying the change of pace. Uh, next week, we're going to be right back into the swing of new cards. Well, at least new if you're a Japanese collector. And new if you're an English collector in a few cases with uh, Legendary Dream uh, booster boxes. I currently have ten boxes on the way. Uh, these feature the, uh, the Mythical uh, Collection promos. A uh, few... Uh, other promos, uh, maybe I think there's some shiny, uh, some alternate artwork, EXs, and just some awesome artwork in general that I'm excited to be uh, adding to my collection, as well as providing as entertainment for you guys. So probably going to do five separate openings, and then the 100 pack opening, depending on the date of arrival on my doorstep. So we've got a Butterfree, Bergmite, Metapod, Dusclops, and a Meowstic Hollow. Cool stuff. I was briefly considering doing a 20 box opening for Legendary Dream, but uh, Legendary Shine Collection did not sell quite as incredibly as I had hoped it would, so I'm kind of tempering expectations just a little bit. The same way with the, uh, the exchange rate. If we were still rocking out at like 115 yen to the dollar or something like that, I would have bought 20 boxes just for the hell of it, but given the financial situation going on right now, it's probably best to be a little bit more prudent and risk a sellout. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club, Centret, Phoebus, Furret, and there's the card we were looking for last box, the Mega Kangaskhan EX, with of course the Gangan Punch. Oh, where is your Spirit Link? Such a bummer. I'd love to see all those Mega Evolutions that did not get Spirit Links in the past. There's a Hollow Milotic, good stuff. Uh, that didn't get uh, Spirit Links in the past, get them. Because I want to see people try them as decks. I'd love to see somebody to try to make the, uh, the Mega Venus World work. I think it could. I know it takes a while to power up. I know it can't retreat, but... I'm sure somebody could figure out a way to maybe not be like super like nationals competitive or something like that, but make a fun and interesting deck out of it that provides like quality matchups to people. I don't know, I think that would be cool to watch. Alright, Dragalge, Pidgey, uh, Esper, Nuzleaf, and what do you know? It's another Charizard EX. I wish I could find you on my phone as easily as I'm pulling them from these X and Y2 booster boxes. But I'm certainly happy to get them out of these packs. Uh, Trick Shovel, Flow Baby, <laughs> Shinx, uh, Sneasel, and a Hollow Gudra. With an epic length pause. If you're watching this in quarter speed right now, I just paused for like a year and a half trying to remember what the stupid flower's name was. 
sorry, AZ, that wonderful, important flower. Feel bad. Uh, Magnetic Storm, Dusko, Litleo, Maractus, and Golem. Whoa, that was my neck. It's getting very sweaty in here. Because you guys wanted to know. Uh, Walrain, Binnacle, Quillfish, uh, Skrelp, and a Skuntang. Hmm. I think a fitting end to box... Let's say box four is a dud. I think it'd be pretty amazing if box five had a full art Lysander. I was never able to pull that card. As we get a Hollow Dredagon. I've actually never pulled a full art Lysander card ever. I was missing the full art Lysander and the uh, blue ultra rare Charizard after my uh, booster case of Wild Blazes completed. And Phantom Gate, I was missing the Lysander's trump card, I believe. Because I never pulled that one either. What's really going to happen, of course, is it's probably sitting in one of the packs from the Stacks of Pack series, and I'm slowly whittling through one pack at a time, and then the thing's just going to spring out of nowhere. Uh, that's the majesty of booster packs, especially when you open them on a large scale. The Law of Gigantor Numbers works in your favor. Alright, we have a Pidgeot, uh, Gumi, Celio, Geodude, and Barbarical. I need to shift my setup a little bit. You know, if we're going to get an Ultra Rare Charizard, now would not be a bad time to do it. <laughs> you know, troll Lysander. Uh, Stunky, Sligu, Caterpie. Yeah, not a bad time. We, we're, do, we're doing, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty okay. This is one hell of a card. This is one hell of a card, and the reason that I said that in the first place is because there's only one pack left, and I thought to myself, this is the 19th pack. I'm pretty sure I pulled this card in my 19th box of Wild Blaze. I think I went, uh... Gold Border, Kangaskhan in 17, uh, this, of course, this magnificent beauty, uh, 19, and uh, the Full Art Charizard in 20. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel pretty confident stating that. Uh, in case there's any doubt as to what this is, in case you've not really been up on the older sets, the older X and Y sets, uh, it's fully gold lettering, it's in Japanese, uh, the border is a little bit different, and in case all of that makes you skeptical, 88 out of 80 ultra rare. So, I don't know what the odds are on actually being able to call this out of a single pack, but it's probably a little bit less than 50%. You know what, not a full art, but who cares? We're doing the special treatment anyways. Obviously, the luster is a bit different uh, in this low light. It does not have the same texture. But in the full light, it is it is otherworldly. One heck of a creature. The Ultra Rare Charizard. As the regular uh, Fire-type Mega Charizard EX was only available in the deck. So, if you pull a red Mega Charizard... It is automatically the ultra rare. Who cares? <laughs> and simply nothing was going to happen after that. We're going to sort our hollows to the front now, guys. Which I know is so unorthodox. I've never done this before. So, hollows were carbink. Helio Lisk, I might have said Helio Tile, I don't remember, but Helio Lisk. Uh, Meowstic, Shiftry, Dredigan, Gudra, and Milotic. Uh, got the Charizard EX, got the Mega Kangaskhan EX, and something very special, very valuable the ultra rare Mega Charizard EX Fire type. Ooh, lordy. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the crap out of this box, and all of these boxes, and there's still one left to go. So if you're excited to see what could possibly be in that one, or if you enjoyed what you saw in this video, of course make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below about anything Pokemon related except for exactly what was in this box. I would really appreciate it. Take care, stay subscribed, I'll see you tomorrow for the finale.